Hey guys and welcome to a brand new makeup tutorial for today's look. We are doing the eyes. So I have this look that I do to every party or night out kind of thing and when I don't have time I usually fall on this look because it takes me literally 5 minutes per eye so maybe 10 to 15 minutes total depending on if I struggle or not. So this is what I usually do. I felt like it would be useful for whoever doesn't really know how to do eyeshadow and like stuff like that. And I mean, I like it. It's mad dramatic. It's so easy to do. You don't need that many things. And and yeah, so if you guys want to learn how to get these eyes, keep on watching. I'll show you exactly what you need to do and exactly what you need to use. And remember, if you guys aren't subscribed to this channel, to please, 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 please subscribe. And I'll appreciate it and love you guys so much for it. And also, if you guys do want to watch the vlogs, they are all on my other channel. So make sure you go click the link up there somewhere to go watch those. So without further ado, let's begin this video. I look so weird with full face and no eyes, but I saved the eyes to the end so I could show you guys this. Oh my God, I feel, I feel like I look so weird without eyes and my whole face is done. Oh my God. Okay, but this is honestly what I do when I have to go to a party or like a night out or something or something fancy where it looks like I put an effort, but I didn't because once you throw on lashes, it honestly looks sick. So it's basically like a smoky, it's a smoky eyeliner look for your eyes. It's basically with like black and a brown, like a dark brown. It just makes your whole look come together. Like if you have a full face and you, you struggle on the eyes, this is probably like a really good eye look to do without using so much eyeshadow. You literally need one eyeshadow color and an eyeliner. So that's all you need and let's start so I'm gonna start with a black eyeliner I'm using the Inglot Co pencil I just recently discovered this and this is so nice I love this stuff so I basically use like um, what do you guys want to call this like a makeup pad or something so what I use this for is when I already have my face done I need to do my eyes I noticed that in the past I rest my hand on my face so then that will leave a mark on my face like my makeup would move or whatever because I'm applying so much pressure so I use this it's a little dirty because I need to clean it but I use this and basically when I'm doing this thingy with my pencil or any eye thing that I'm doing. I got more stuff on it now. I basically put it between my pinky and my ring finger and I place it on my face and then I go and do my eye stuffs. And then this way, my makeup doesn't transfer, which is really cool. All right, so taking your Inglot eye pencil, first I'm gonna line my waterline. I got the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and do that. Now that your waterline is lined, you're gonna basically want to do like a rough line where you would do your liquid liner. I'm just gonna show you because sometimes it's hard to explain and show. So I'm just gonna show you guys. So let's take this. And you don't wanna wing it out with this. You just wanna stay on top of your eyelid. like that and then you're gonna take a smudging brush so i'm using the morphe m508 and now you're gonna smudge it out slowly going upwards you don't want to pass basically the center of your eye so you want to smudge a little bit upwards but make sure you smudge on the edge part of it so don't start from the eye to smudge just start from the top and kind of work your way down kind of thing Now you want to take this and flick it with the X. And if you guys feel like you need to put like tape or like a post-it note or something here to make sure your line stays straight, you can definitely do that. But I'm just gonna go straight in. So I'm using the Soft Glam 2 palette, basically like a smaller version of the Soft Glam palette. And I'm gonna take the color Incense, this really brown color, and I'm gonna use a tiny brush. So I'm gonna use a Morphe brush. It has no number on it, so I can't really tell you guys that. But it looks like this. And I'm just gonna take the color on it, pat it all out, 
and now on the outer line so like not right by your eyelid but like right above it now you want to buff that out a little bit using the brown color And now taking a clean fluffy brush, you want to go even higher and just like buff out that line. Just so it's like seamless and there's no harsh lines. You can take it all the way out if you want. And now going back in with the smudging brush, I'm just gonna define this line a little bit more. That's literally it. And now you're gonna do the bottom. So basically what you're gonna do is you're going to apply some black liner, not too much. And you're going to smudge it out using the smudging brush. And now taking the brown color, and now you're going to blend that. Basically what you did to the top, you're going to do to the bottom going downwards. But with the bottom, you're going to make sure it's like half the size. I'm gonna take a liquid liner. I'm gonna use the Pink Corkit Studios Lip Liner. And I'm basically gonna draw the world thinnest eyeliner line. Is that a word or saying? But I'm gonna draw the world's thinnest eyeliner line just to define right really, really close to my lash line. So I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna to try to stay as close as possible. Now you're gonna take some black eyeshadow and you're going to just pat over the line you just made with your liquid liner. Just so it mats it out a little bit. Cause I don't want the liner to look shiny or anything. So I'm just gonna pat this over it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Literally that's, that's it, that, that's all. I'm gonna apply mascara. So I'm going to use the Milk Makeup's Kush Mascara. And then on the lower lash line, really weird. I don't want to use the same one because it's pretty thick. So I'm going to use this little mini um, Hourglass Extreme Lash Mascara. And I'm going to apply this on my lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna apply the eyelashes. So I have like, so I'm gonna take the Justin lashes in gold. Guys, I really, really love these lashes. So I'm just gonna take these and I'm gonna apply them to my eye. If you guys struggle to put on lashes, I use this tool. It's by Lashes by Kyra. You could probably also get this off Amazon or something. But you use this and you just like hold onto your eyelash like so. You apply your glue, let it dry, and literally applying this is so easy my favorite eyelash glue is the duo black eyelash glue oh no make sure you apply a good amount to the edges because that's the part that always sticks up you're gonna wait till the glue gets a little tacky i still struggle with this okay and then you're gonna apply it directly to your eyelid a secret tip is if you guys have a handheld mirror or a mirror that tilts up or even like an eyeshadow mirror you can just hold it like this and then apply it and then you can see that it's getting close to your lash line and that's when you stick it on oh my god that holy the difference that's it. That's exactly how you do it. I'm just gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. I kinda, okay, so I kinda messed up on this side and I ended up making like an extra eyeshadow wing because I accidentally went too far. So, so don't do that. But because I did that on this side, I just added a little flick on this side with the eyeshadow. I just like took it and I just like, psh, like flicked it across. 
But this is this is it. This is the look it look, took literally 10 minutes, maybe less than 10 minutes per eye. If you're rushing, I guess if you take your time and you're a beginner, maybe 15 minutes, I would say. But this is it. I hope you guys liked it. I hope that was easy to follow along. I hope it was helpful. I hope one of you guys could use this look. If you guys do these looks, let me know. Tag me on Instagram or send me a DM or whatever. I'd love to see you guys try and get out of your comfort zones. Definitely and for sure. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, if you're not already subscribed, to, sub to subscribe to the channel. And I appreciate it so much. I love you guys and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.